So this is a very basic tutorial, but it's one I did a long time ago and a lot of people watched it. So I wanna make sure it's updated for the newer versions of Blender. And that is how to apply an HDRI to your scene. So before we do that, make sure you have an HDRI. Um, a place that I would recommend is Polyhaven slash HDRIs. You can download like outdoor ones, indoor ones. They have a whole bunch of them. I happen to have a folder of them that I downloaded. Here are two ways to apply this, both in EV and in Cycle. So go to the World tab. In the color, hit this uh, yellow thing yellow circle, uh, we might say, and make this an environment texture. Since we want our environment to have an environment texture, we open this and then navigate to wherever you downloaded it. So here I have a bunch of HDRIs. Uh, let's do a nice outdoor one. Uh, you can't see anything. This is because we are in solid view. Go to render view. And then uh, you can see we have our HDRI loaded and it's actually using this for the lighting information and for reflection information. If we go to shading and make this low roughness, high metallicness, so it's like nice and reflective, you can see it's reflecting our HDRI. One thing to notice is if we go to cycles, um, same kind of situation here, although it's a, it looks a bit better. So um, now the question is, is there another way to apply an HDRI? And the answer is yes. So I'm gonna start with the new Blender scene. Another way to do this is go to shading from objects, switch this to world. So now we're doing the world shading. This is what's happening behind the hood. For the background, for the color, you want to use an environment texture. So it's again, again the same thing, and you can see it loads it right here. We open, and uh, for our HDRI, we load in an HDRI. I'm going to load in a different one this time. So you can see we have a nice indoor one. The difference between this and the other approach, since it's pretty similar, is uh, if we add in a couple nodes, like a mapping node and a generated node, uh, we can rotate our HDRI and get different like lighting uh, setups. So uh, that's the advantage there. Um, again, that's a texture coordinate node and a mapping node, and then you can rotate your HDRI. So hopefully this was helpful to somebody.